Bushway, have a conversation about. <clears throat> we were talking about the other day Why do we turn out mice instead of lions? May we talk about that a little? We seem to spend a great deal of energy and capacity on these students. Their parents obviously want them to be safe, well educated, to have a good job, settle down in life, marry children, their whole business of And we spend enormous energy in educating them to fill in that gap or that slot or that space as an engineer, <coughs> as a philosopher, as an academician and scientist and so on. Is that all that we can do? Come on, so it's your, it's in your lap, in your cock. Like Kabir is experimenting, he's organizing some kind of educational structure or non-structure. He must spend a great deal of energy in thinking it out with the others, talk to the parents, talk to the students, and yet they remain mice tame, domestic mice. Mm -hmm. And we seem to be satisfied with that. There are nearly 50, 350 students here, 40, 340 or 50, it doesn't matter. And there are the same amount, same number of students in Rajgarh, and about 250 or so in Madras, Bangalore, 150. And out of this lot, about a thousand, I don't have to conclude the sentence. <laughs> so what shall we do? Apparently they go abroad, some of them, they are unlucky enough. And they get up, get swallowed up by the American technology, by the girls, by the marvelous beauty of the land. And they are lost there. Some of them are in the IBM, some invent something new. They seem to flower in the technological world in America. At least some of them do. 
And of course, nobody goes to England anymore. Perhaps some of them go to Germany. And they apparently do extraordinarily well in technological, mechanical world. They've, they've got fairly good memories, fairly good brains, and they slip into that rut. And here we are, nearly a thousand students in our schools, and we don't seem to be able to produce one gazelle or one <laughs> lion, one even a big elephant. <laughs> Why is this? I'm asking you, please, you are the educators. Is there something wrong in our approach to all this? Rajgat and the school, the Shivane, have existed nearly for over nearly sixty years or more. And when you consider the enormous energy that we have put into it, it's incalculable energy, building, making the land fertile, digging wells, and the other, yesterday there was a collector here for lunch, and he said he was going to build more dams and all the rest of it. Environment seems to help us enormously. The trees, the land, those enormous rocks, and the extraordinary beauty of this land. But somehow all that becomes in insignificant when we, as educators, are incapable of doing something marvelous. I believe both special Rishi Valley has got a good reputation, it's fairly well known. May I tell you a joke? The other day I was coming by air, going somewhere or other. He said, from where are you? Somebody asked me. Oh, I said, somewhere. He said, actually, where are you from? Are you Turk? Are you person? Are you one of the Muslim world? I said, no, no, no. Where are you from? I said, I'm from the valley of the Rishis. <laughs> oh, good name for this place. He said, where is that? I said, you won't find it. <laughs> So what shall we do together to do or not do something extraordinarily alive, vital, not let the students fall into the same old rut business and, or army or this or that? Please, I would like your advice and discussion. <coughs> if I may say something, perhaps I'm just paraphrasing you, but uh, I feel we fail because we uh, deal with the problem we are posing in the, uh, when we talk to our children, when we try to do something, we constantly make a problem of it. I think that's <coughs> Without making a problem of it, what is amiss, what is not correct, what is it we should or should not do to bring about a totally different human being? 
I don't have interest in this. But perhaps uh, the question should be posed in the way you're posing it. Then let's pose it differently. What is it I want my daughter or my son when I send this the send them here, knowing that they will they will get a very good academic uh, knowledge, and the parents are not really concerned about the other, right? But then some way some way they would yeah like some to some but it, it is such a drop in a bucket. You see the, the fruit of it all, right? So what shall we do together? Please, I'm putting all this question to all of you, not just what shall we do? Come on, sir, you are a, what shall we do, sir? I don't want you to experiment on my children. Right? I said, what the hell are you doing with my children, experimenting? Like animal pigs? No, we are not. And <laughs> I think it's a very wrong notion that has gone around that we are I, I, I don't care. Are you experimenting with them? Are you trying something new on them? No. Or are you trying to bring a different quality of a human being? I would say we are trying to do the latter, sir. Huh? We are trying to do the latter. You co All right, sir. In what way? Sorry, I'm going to examine you now that you're yes. <laughs> close. In what way are you trying to bring about a different quality of a human being? He the one of the, where is the other chap? No, they all hide here. Yeah. There is, yes, these yeah. two supposed to run Bangalore school. You would have stayed there, you and Murray, last night. But they were here, so you couldn't stay. When did you leave this morning? Five fifty. Good Lord. I hope you had a nice journey. Beautiful night. Right. Sir, you tell me. Your way may be right way or wrong way. I don't know. So you tell me. I've sent my daughter and son to you. I want them. Please, I'm a fairly educated human being. I've seen different parts of the world, little, not too much. I'm fairly knowledgeable, and I send you these two br children to you. I have a feeling that, or rather, wishing, longing, that you would do something different from the usual rut run of the schools. And I would like them to be academically excellent, because that's part of life, part of earning a beastly livelihood. It's all the boredom of it. And also, I would like them to be if I may use the word m most <coughs> delicately, religious, not the usual temple and all that nonsense. So I send them to you. For nine months you are in charge of them. Proceed, tell me what you do. You are 
What will you do? Not we hope. Not we will try. Not we'll do our best. Because I don't I don't so silly to So what will you do, sir? So this is a question to all of this, not just sir, to cut. Can you respond? Yes. Why why are we assuming that anything can be done? It, sir, the schools have been going for sixty years. I will years. tell you. The schools have been going for sixty years. Yes, and I know all that, sir. And there's nothing extraordinary that has happened yet. Yes. So why do we assume, is there any evidence that anything can be done to the school? I'll tell you. We started the school, we said, Rajgarh, no. I used to sleep on the floor here. Yeah. No water, no electricity. The toilet was all this open field. We thought, we would educate them differently, we would bring it in with thought. Well, I'm still thinking it can be done. You may say you're rather a bit odd in your head. Nothing can be done. You might say that. I say, sorry, since you have educated man in that direction, right, commercialism, technology, uh, job, good life, you know, all that. Since you have done it, man can do something else too. Why, why, that why not? If you have done that, if you have gone that way, mm-hmm. why can't you go that way too? Because maybe it can't be taught. Huh? Maybe it can't be taught. Why maybe not? It may be. You assume it may not. I don't know. Therefore, let's find out if it can. You may take fifty years, hundred years. I hope not. (laughs) 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 No, we're taking fifty years. There must be other direction too. The Jesuits have done it, right, sir? The Jesuits. You know, produced extraordinary. What? Have they produced extraordinary individuals that you're talking about? What? The Jesuits. Have have they produced extraordinary Oh yes, they have produced what they wanted to produce. What the communist cells were based on Jesuit cells. They took a great deal from Loyola. So you can't say human beings cannot go some other way too. So what shall we do, you and I and the rest of us, to see if we can bring something tremendously out of these places? Krishnaji, uh, obviously, it cannot be experimenting in the sense of grouping around. It cannot be, I hope I will do my best. <laughs> I don't want to do your best, which would yes. be nothing. Yes. <laughs> to me, to do something your best is nothing. Right. So what will you, as a human being, create, build? You have built the pyramids, you have built the uh, Sphinx, you have built the Parthenon, you have built the most extraordinary things in life. And why can't we do this? So one of the prerequisites, it seems to me, should be that one should be very critical, self-critical, not satisfied with what, what we have done, what we are doing. You mean self-critical? Critical what, what we have done so far, what I'm, done. That's what I'm saying. What have we done so far? Maybe our attention is in the wrong place. 
Your pardon? Maybe our attention is on the wrong place. If we give attention to the children, yes. I know. But it's what we are that we give to the Just children. a minute, lady. Just a minute. The parents want their children to be safe. Secure. So there is to be secure in this society, you must have a degree. And examination, study, all that. Then they also want the parents, the parents also want their children to be married and settle down. They have a job and marry and settle down. For God's sake, get on with it. Breed like hell and carry on. Not the, is it the parents or is it ourselves or is it we are caught up in a system, in a whirlpool that cannot but carry us along in its old way. You understand? I cannot admit that. To me, that's defeatism. To be defeated by a theory. So what shall I do? What shall we do? Please, so, come on, sir. So the Jesuits, Huh? The Jesuits and the Communists, they rally their energy, all the people, they put all the energy onto a common goal. It gives them a tremendous sense of, of energy. Now we are seeing that that kind of energy is the same thing. It is, it is still isolation. Yes. Our question is, when we see this, we are lost. We don't. We don't no, have. No, Rajesh, just me, sir. What are you trying to tell me? If you have a, all of us have a certain goal, certain purpose, mm. certain definite, delineated shape, idea, or a principle or a pattern then we can put all our energy into it. Can we? Can we all agree, all of us in this room, agree that we need a different kind of brain, a different kind of outlook on life, a different way of living, of feeling, and so on. Could we all agree to, on that? I think many of us I are no, agreed on that. No. So I'm, we may agree, but what is the content of that agreement? I mean, that's what I'm coming to. Agree we should build the Sphinx. And we know you can't do it. So. Do, can we all agree profoundly on something together, not superficially? Not say yes, yes, let's get on. Can we have the same vision? I'm using the word vision, not the word of psychiatry, but in the world of, on the earth, can we all together have one vision, or is that impossible? It comes to this. Sir, it can be possible, but it, the same vision can be accompanied by fanaticism, zealousness. No. You don't want all that. No, what no. Kind, what is the what is the quality of that vision? What? What is the nature of that vision? I'll tell you in a minute. 
That's not the point. The question is, can we all come together about something? Not purpose, goal, God and all that, but the feeling that we are together first. About something? No. No, you said that. You said that. You see? So you said it. No, no, I didn't say that. No, I'm saying, can we all feel that we are together doing something? Not what? That's very different. Mm. Ah, that's what I'm saying. That's right. Come on, sirs. I mean, if, I, if we all want to build a house, that's fairly simple. Because we all have the common goal. We all want so many windows, so many bathrooms, so many rooms, so many sitting rooms, and all the rest of it. That's fairly simple. Then we say, good idea, let's all work together. That is, you are working for a purpose, for a goal, for an end. But we are saying, First, what is important is not the building, is not the shape of the house, the windows, bathrooms, and so on, but the feeling that we are together. Don't go to sleep, please. <laughs> If we have that feeling, we can do anything. What will bring about this feeling of togetherness if it's not some kind of a conscious goal? No. Sir, we can't do anything in the world by ourselves. <coughs> right? Nothing. The Pakistan was not built by one man putting some. It, it, it was a feeling for Athena. I'm not going to go the story, and putting it all together. Tremendous intelligence, right? Can't we do the same here? But we had a goal there. No, no, no. The feeling for the goddess. You understand? Goddess of wisdom, Athena. Right? The feeling of it, I'm talking, not the goddess that came later. <coughs> Are you talking about being together in the feeling for the religious quality? I'm saying, sir, do we have that feeling first of being together? Of being together. Mm -hmm. You cannot do anything by yourself in the world. You need my help, you need his help, you need your wife, you need somebody. You can't live by yourself unless you trot off to the Himalayas. And then there too, somebody comes and feeds you. This sense of isolation, which separates us, that's all I'm objecting to. So, isn't that inevitable if you rally around a goal? No, no, I'm not talking of a goal, a purpose, an end, a goddess or this. The feeling, I can't live by myself. The feeling... Huh? What I feel is, we get this feeling for a while, this feeling of togetherness, but then our own idiosyncrasies, our own tendencies uh, come to the fore, and we somehow that feeling gets lost. No, sir, you can't lose it if you have that feeling once. I, I don't think we are talking of the same thing. If, if, if it is an emotional... Not emotional, okay, sir. So Even goes, intellectually, yeah. you can't do anything. I agree, sir. Intellectually, one can say that one can't do a thing alone. You can't. 
to have a child, a woman and a man is necessary. It may be a tube or anything, but a man is necessary. So this idea, leave us alone, we will do something, by our, is impossible. We are together in this. I, that I don't think you get that feeling. I don't think you have that feeling. To have that feeling implies that you sit down, if there is any misunderstanding, wipe it out the next second. You follow? You can't. Oh well, much good. Can you explore a bit more into this? What? Into what? Into this whole question of you. You made a statement that you cannot do this alone. No, no one person can do this. Absolutely clear. Except in parliament or in a dictator. One person can only bully the rest. Ah uh, yes, yes. So we're not talking, we're not talking. Of that kind. Or you can influence the rest. We are not talking about. No, no. The feeling that we are not separate, the feeling that you cannot, sir, you are utterly responsible for whatever you do. Right? I walk down that road, I see a branch fallen on it, I pick it up. I am responsible. I am not sure well, the gardener will come pick it up. I do. And if there is this feeling of responsibility, then you are together. I don't know if I'm conveying it. Please, sir, let's discuss it. Don't let me talk. So there is this tendency to isolate. Don't bring all those. Yeah, I know, know that. So I know that. But what will you do, Rajesh? Don't talk about this. What are you doing? You, you, when you watch it, you, if you're, it's, sometimes you're not even able to end that. It's very, it has its own force. What? What? At times. Not at times. Now. Now I don't. I see. I see what you say. What do you say? Can we work together? Or you won't, you shirk responsibility and do all the work, and you come down then criticize. Suppose this happens. I say, what the hell do you mean by it? We, you and I are involved in this thing. It's not your superior, I'm inferior. You take the spade. I've taken the spade, dug a hole. You do the same. Don't tell me. I'll improve the hole. <laughs> no, but if you, if you feel that you will keep digging holes, there's nothing in those holes. You don't want to do I'm it. going to plant a tree in those holes. What are you talking about? I dig a hole for an orange tree or whatever tree, and I see the proper depth, soil, compost, all kinds of stuff in it, and then I plant it. But it's my responsibility for the whole thing. I want the Rishwell the most beautiful place. On earth. So I walk. <laughs> what are you people? I don't. Co you don't come and supervise me. Tell me what to do. I know, sir. Yes, sir. You don't. You us. dig. You plant, because you care for the whole place. So you don't know what it means to care uh, for the whole. You want to find. You want to find out what it means to care for the whole place. 
I'll tell you. You don't want to just fragmentedly plant tree and plant this. You can go on. No, I'll tell you. Really, you want me to tell you what it means? So was, there's a particular hill in Sanan going up to a certain other little town called Shunreed. We were driving up that steep slope. <clears throat> and a girl in front of us on a bicycle sees a piece of paper on the road, gets down, p- picks up that piece of paper and trundles up uh, the hill and there is a bin at the corner. She drops it in there. A little girl of 15, 12, what you sure. Yes, sir. So you say that? That is caring for the whole? Please. Jesus! No, I'm, I'm not going to <laughs> let you I make that statement and... I, uh, sir, the sense she was re- responsible for that piece of paper, responsible to see that role was kept clean. Each one of us here must be doing that. Um, several times in a day. Hey, Rajnesh. Rajesh. Paul is cheating. You know Rajesh. Sir, I am talking the feeling of responsibility, not for a particular thing, but the feeling of responsibility. If you feel that, you do everything. So there is no feeling my vision and your ah. vision. That's why I'm asking you all, gentlemen and ladies, what shall we do? Knowing that you cannot build anything by yourself. Impossible. So what will you do? Tell me, please. You like to discuss, talk. Tell me what to do. Not verbal statement, not theoretical. Tell me, I've come here as one of you, as a worker, worker, not a theoretician. <laughs> and I say, Rajesh, please tell me, or Kabir, or X, Y, Z, tell me, what am I to do? Please listen to what I'm saying. Not to bring about larger mouths, but something tremendously different. And if you want me to explain, I'll explain all what is different. So will you how will you manage this? How will you bring this about? And it's your responsibility, because you are the educator here, you have lived here, you have worked here, you have shaken hands with others, still you, you have drank the same water, same bread. Tell me, sir, please. What shall I do? Look, sir, K happened to dissolve the organization. Tremendous organization, because he was the head of his closing. And he did the same with other things. Recently, he said, no more talks at Sanan, because he was so alone there, and he, he decided. Here we have to deal with 500 people. Right? He can't say, well, let's do this, don't do that. We're all together here. 
living in the same valley, eating the same food, etc., etc. So I can't say, do this, do that. I couldn't do it personally. So I'm just asking you, gentlemen, what shall we do together? God said, wake up. Mr. Kumar Swami, what shall we do? So this is a challenge to you. You have to answer it, you can't just neglect it. Well, sir, come on, sir. You're full of energy, aggressive action. Tell me what to do. I'm one of your uh, corporate, uh, what do you call them? One of your colleagues. <laughs> You're not my boss. You're not my educator. I'm one of your colleagues. And I say, so what should we do? And she says, you and I talk it over. You don't lay down and say, do this. I won't. I, do, I have come to you on a different footing, on a different understanding, that we are colleagues, we are working together. You start and tell me what to do. Not that I will accept what you tell me, but I will discuss it with you. I, I don't know where to start answering this question, Krishna. Huh? One doesn't know where to start answering I, this question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are... There is the the obvious need for the sense of togetherness. And there are a hundred things that come out of it. You tell me one that's the key to it, that key may open vast vistas, vast rooms or something, but you tell me the key to it. Come on, please, don't go to sleep. Rajesh, tell me the key to it. What is the point if I can't end it? What? What is the point of saying it verbally, the key? No, I want you to tell me, not verbally. If you ask me, You're all waking up? <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, I'll first ask you, before you ask me, why are you talking to me? Hmm? What's your relationship with me? Supposing I say we are working together? Ah, oh, that's all bananas. <laughs> You're in the school, so I'm... Uh, I'm not talking that. I'm not talking about schools. I'm talking, what's your relationship with another human being? You're a human being, or not Prince Akbar and Akbar? No, Kabir. You might be Akbar reincarnated. <laughs> I say first, what's your relationship to me? I have to answer that question. What's your relationship, lady and gentlemen? What's your relationship with me? Hmm? 
that stumps you. Kabir, I mean, vegetarian, what's your relationship with cake? You have to be very honest in this. You're going to marry me. <laughs> or I'm going to marry you. What's your relationship? You honestly answered. Oh, for God's sake, what you, you don't have to. No, but don't pounce on me. Give me a time. <laughs> if you want, I can't answer that. Why I'm asking this question is you were going to establish a relationship first, right? If you have no relationship, we can't work together. Right? So I'm asking you, not personally, if you don't mind, what's your relationship with K? Have you any relationship with K? Don't say. What do you mean by the word no, no, relation? I, won't ask I will tell you. Yes, but I won't ask. <laughs> Unless you want to, you wish to still. You know, tell me what your relationship <coughs> Or have you no relationship with anybody? It's, I'm asking this of all of us. So that perhaps is a very true statement. That one has no relationship. I am asking you, don't buy. What's your relationship to K? K has stirred. Rela no, I, careful, careful, careful. <laughs> You're too quick, sir. You won't allow me to. So, what is your relationship with Mrs. with? Radhika G, what's your relationship with her? Or with Mrs. Thomas, or with Kabir, or with somebody else? What's your relationship, sir? Don't go on. My relationship is based on my experience of them. I know, please, I, I, you've asked me, I'll tell you. I'm asking, what's your relationship? Is it a friend? Yes. Is it your boss? No. No, wait. I'm just gonna, go ahead. I just. <laughs> Is it your constant companion? Because you see her every day. You see her talk to her every day. Pour out your troubles or whatever you talk to her. Is she listening to you, considering you? Trying to understand you, and you are trying to understand her, why she does this, that, that, and the other thing. Or you have kept to yourself. Same thing, what's your relation with him? Or him or her? You're, you see, you don't answer this question. Or you have no relationship at all. Because you have, I'm not saying you have yes, a Because you have no relationship, you moon along. So I'm asking you, sir, unless we establish a real relationship, we can't work together. Genuine one, not a kind of ideological, romantic, sexual or otherwise. I am saying, do you, who have lived here for so many years, have any kind of relationship with any of these people? 
You ask me very deeply, I'm saying no. Huh? Very deeply, no. Good. <laughs> Therefore, you can't work with others. Exactly. That is what's going on. Everybody I did, did. I'm, uh, don't say what's going on. I know what's going on. I'm not blind. <laughs> I, uh, you're right. We have no relationship in that sense. So, in that sense, we, of course, is that so with all of us? Yes. And you don't you answer? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> is that so with all of us? Yes. Yes. Emma, don't answer anything else. Because from that stems everything. It's the fountain. It's the fountain. If there is n- that fountain is not flowing, you can't work together. You can't build together. So why is one frightened of breaking the bottle? Huh? You you used an analogy last time to break the bottle. Yeah, break the bottle. Why is one frightened to break the bottle? So do you want a good relationship with me? Good relationship? Uh, hey, you yeah. didn't hear what I said. Good. Really good relationship with another. With whom you can talk, expose, feel all, tell all your troubles. You know, friend, for God's sake. So that kind of relationship I have with many people. Oh, n- gee. I will say, if you, if you say... No, I'm asking you, do you have a relationship with another so that you can... You don't have to talk, you can be quiet, but there is an inch of flow. There is. If very... I have. Huh? I have. How many? The person, person opens out to me, I open out to the person. There is no fear, there is no oh, hesitation. No, no, no. I am asking you, do you have the feeling of being related? No. It doesn't matter with whom. No. No. So how can you work with another who has that feeling? Suppose. I know, sir. That is what has been happening. So what will you do? I don't know. Don't throw up your shoulders like this. Cry? Do. Cry. I've done it. All right. If you have cried, then what will after that? Wipe your tears and get on with it. Then what? I'm not bullying you, sir. I'm not being personal. I'm just asking, how can we work together, build together, think together, if we have no relationship with each other? Not sexual, not uh, say, oh, I lean on you, you lean on me, I, I scratch your back, you scratch my <laughs> I don't mean that kind of uh, relationship. If you stand alone, you are related. I don't know if you understand what I mean. If you are dependent, you are not related. So that's my job to go on like this. So. You tell me, some of you, what shall we do together to bring about a different quality of a human being for whom we are responsible? The parents have put put their children here, paying an awful lot of money, all the bothersome of it. Train journey back and forth, and 
here you don't meet, there they eat me, there they smoke, there they go. You know, all that goes on. Hmm? Here you have them for nine months and what will you do with them? Apart from academics, How does it fit to be in India? Strange country. We'll talk about it later. Come on, sir, some sort of being silent. Would you work under authority? Don't say no, sir. Be I careful. Careful, don't say no. I'll fight it. I mean, and don't say fight, don't answer yet because you haven't gone into it. Would you, if I became the authority here, God forbid. I would leave this. I, you wouldn't. I bet sir, I would. I tell you what. If you be, if you were an authority, I would not have lived in this place. You won't even listen that boy. Do you know what I would do? I would cajole, play with you, and say, "Come on, old boy." Yeah. <laughs> no, would you walk under the thumb? It's a very serious question, sir. Don't just say I won't. It may be the authority of the committee, it may be the authority of half a dozen people, it may be the authority of some entity called KFI. Is it that there is no no feeling that we are together in this? I can't build a house by myself. Impossible. I must have a carpet. I must have a man who deals with glass. Mm -hmm all that electricity and so on. So I, I want to cooperate. I want to say, please, let's do it all together. Have you that feeling? I'm not asking you. Have you got that feeling? No. I'm sorry I interrupted, but sir, may I? ask a different roundabout question, and that is that uh, we earlier said that there is no such thing as my wish, vision and your vision, and that's fragmentary. Would you uh, allow that perhaps there is a vision that is, if we work together, an inevitable vision? Uh, I don't follow. Uh, not not a fragmented vision of different people, but if we cooperate, when we cooperate, is there a vision that is... Uh, almost organic. That's the yes, right I think there is. That's what I understand that. And that it is our business to discover it. And in the cooperation perhaps it can be discovered. Radhikaji, you are not answering my question. What is that? What shall I, what shall we do together? Not to bring about bigger minds, but some a lion yet, something outrageous. <laughs> hmm? 
Not how trade is unit. Suppose you don't know, how will you then start? I don't know. How will you not know him begin? It must begin that way because... Yes, because that, then it you understand no what I say? Yes. You understood what I say? Yes. Not knowing you begin. Not experiment, you <coughs> begin. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. Is it that we all know and therefore we do nothing? And bully each other. Yes. Yeah. I'm not being clever, this is not being astute or cunning. Somehow I feel we're all striving after something that we inwardly feel is important. You understand? And therefore we never start with saying, I really don't know, let's move together. Isn't it that <coughs> in not knowing you do move together because in knowing... Yes, sir, uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, start with yourself. Do you... You start with knowing. I'm not being personal. And you botch up the whole thing. I come along, or he comes along, says, sir, this, sir, I really don't know how to build this house. I don't know anything. Let's talk together. You're not instructing me, I'm not instructing you. Let's see what it really means not knowing. What is the content of not knowing? Is there any content to not knowing? Is that a different quality of the brain? You understand why? Because we say, yes, I know about this, I know about that. And God, of course, you know, we know every damn thing. So, you and I start with not knowing. That's an immense thing. I don't know if you follow. It's not you are experimenting on me or I am experimenting on you, but I don't know. I'm not weak. I, you understand? Yes, I'm not weak. On the contrary, I'm full of this extraordinary energy of, which is free from knowing. So uh, we talk it over, not knowing, what's the content of not knowing. And to, we have to eat food two hours later. So we, you follow, sir? I don't know if you follow. Also, won't some of you say something? Is it time? It is time, I know. Aren't you tired of your long journey? Not yet. <laughs> this is the last. It seems the mind is knowing. Knowing is the very nature of the mind. Is the brain. Is the, the nature brain. of the brain. So, knowing. So when you say, I don't know, let's find out. You may find out in talking over, but you will still be knowing. Uh, when you say, I don't know, if you really say it to yourself, what takes place? Don't conjecture up things. What actually takes place when you say, I really don't know?
I really don't know what's in the other side of the mountain, right? I never taken the trouble to climb in. So I won't imagine, I won't etc. So I want to find out what it means to look over the mountain. Either climb the mountain if I can, or I can't. But there is something still on the outside of the mountain, beyond the mountain. How do you know? Why do you ask that question? <coughs> What, what question am I asking? When you ask this question, what question? That there is something else. Maybe I said you didn't listen. There may be something beyond the mountain, right? To find that out, either I have to climb the mountain to find out, or I say sorry, I don't know what's beyond it, right? You understand? Mm -hmm. What is the difficulty, boy? The mountain suddenly eh, drop, maybe. So, to find out, I have to climb the mountain. Yes. But I can't climb the mountain, right? I'm too old or too young or too inexperienced. I can't. And I won't imagine what is on the other side of the mountain. So I say, I don't know what's on the other side of the mountain, right? It may be sheer precipice, or it may be the most beautiful of valleys, right? I don't know. I won't pretend, I won't imagine, I won't uh, get emotional about it, but I don't know. If you go up there, and see, don't tell me. Your description won't satisfy me. That's that. Shall we stop? It's time.